Good morning to you. I'm Jeff Slakey. Mondays at this time, we talk EDC and Mason County EDC. I got two great guests in the studio today to talk about it. Lynn Longin and Karen Lee. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good. Great. Yeah. Great day today. End yes. of a wonderful Forest Festival weekend, bringing a lot of spotlight into the downtown area, Mason County overall. And uh, by all accounts, it was a good foot forward put by Shelton. It really was. I was, was really nice. proud of this community. Lots of people attended, and yeah, the I parade was great. I couldn't believe how many people were at the parade. Right? A few years ago, I was really worried about it. You know, the sure. attendance was getting pretty low, and I was getting kind of worried about it. And man, it was great to see all the all the people out and all the parade entries. Jerry was driving the iFiber rig she down was. and <laughs> so she took some photos because you know you're only going two miles right. an hour so you right. can right. do that and it looked like there was you know six or seven people deep the whole way down railroad yeah, nice. uh, just yeah. massive amounts. I of might have taken a picture of her taking a picture of me. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an inception <laughs> photo there <laughs> let's talk about the membership drive uh that was up at the ridge motorsports park car and you were in uh promoting this and yes. uh tell me about it how did it all turn out it was a really successful event it turned out really well uh, we had our sponsors um hood canal communications heritage bank mason transit little creek casino uh, and then castle and coleman logging um paid for a blitz to come down we got an email from him thanking us for a great event, yeah. and he hopes that he can come down and join us next year. Did we he had ride in the go kart. He did. He yeah. did. I <laughs> took a video of him. It's it's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna have Jennifer edit that and add some music, but okay. it, it turned out really nice. And then I want to say we had nine Kapowson skydivers jump in. Yeah. Wow. That was that's cool. Yeah, that was wonderful. They're just um, really involved with with our entire community and like i said you know last week they called and asked if they could and right it was wonderful yeah the attendance was great uh, we've gotten a uh, several new memberships nice yeah, yeah. nice we good. had over a hundred people there um i each year it just gets bigger and bigger mm -hmm. um i really have to thank the ridge motorsports park for this they um from year one they said it's yours and they really pull out all the stops to make it a good event for mm -hmm. our members. Very and cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So something you're going to do again annually. But oh, yes. I already, already you know, Joe says, next year. Joe Mankey <laughs> says, let's do this again. And I said, of oh, course. Of course. <laughs> uh -huh. Very neat. Yeah, we're very lucky to have to have that partnership and, and right. have that venue for, for our event. Cool. Yeah. Be able to look uh, at this information too on the website choosemason.com. There's a calendar of events as well. Some big things happening throughout the rest of this week. Uh, I was talking though, Lynn, before we move on with Representative Griffey, Dan mm -hmm. Griffey, and he said that you and him were talking a little bit about some folks maybe kind of coming in right. to the area, checking some yes. things out. So we did. So from my China trip, we already had our first reciprocal visit. Uh -huh. um, two businessmen that hosted us there, um, very prominent businessmen in China, came to town. They came to Thurston County and were looking at a couple properties because they want to um, do some business. And um, because I went there in March, they um, they came here. Uh -huh. So Sin made us a private dinner in her restaurant. Wow. It was it was amazing. really nice. Yeah. It was amazing. We really pulled out all the stops. And then we had um, uh, Commissioner Randy Netherland, Mayor Krantz, um, Dan Griffey, Representative Dan Griffey. And then we had my board chair and myself. And Thurston EDC had some represent it was two so it was really good cool mm -hmm. so that's really nice good. to see it's already kind of it, cir it is it's you know something that um i want to point out about stuff like this is you don't usually get that type of reciprocal visit it usually takes about three years just to get that right you know we're really um we're really 
building on the relationship that Thurston EDC has built over the years. And it took them three years just to get the visit back and five years to get any kind of business out of this. Wow. So they've been, well, no, it's been, yeah, it's been 10 years they've been doing this. So we're really building on that and taking advantage of that. We're very fortunate that they're such good partners. Good. And like I said, a couple months and we have them coming to town yeah. already. That's pretty cool. And then next year, hopefully, you know, they'll come to town for longer. I also want to do a shout out to Alderbrook um, Resort for this because I called them with barely 48 hours notice and said, you know, I called the general manager, Sean Tucker, and said, Sean, I got this group coming in. I need a couple rooms. And he didn't even hesitate. He got me two rooms, even though I know they were full you know, really yeah. close to full capacity because um, Karin had called earlier. Got me two rooms, no problem. In the end, they did not end up staying here, but um, but just to know that we have that group that everybody rallied together, you know, um, Dan Griffey, all of them, they, they only had 24 hours notice yeah. to come to this dinner and, and they changed their plans and they came. So oh, wow. um, it, was, it was a really good show of strength of what our community can do. And when I called, they were all very responsive. I'm, you know, I call it the dry run. It was great. Good. <laughs> well, that's great to hear. Moving on to the calendar of events uh, this week for uh, the EDC. You have some training today, some other things going on throughout the week. Let's talk right. about these quickly. Today's the Information Center for the Microenterprise Training. Um, come to the office, the EDC office at noon. Learn more about what the program is, what you can expect from it, and see if you want to take it further. Okay. Um, really need to get you know people interested in this and. You know, it's a really good resource that's available to our residents only for no cost to them. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Noon today. Noon today in the EDC office. Karin, what else is going on this week? Friday, we have the Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics Luncheon. We partner with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, that is at 1130 at Mason General, and all proceeds benefit the Hospital Foundation. Um, next week, RSVPs are oh. absolutely required. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it gets pretty tight. We we fill that one up, so uh -huh. we're not going to be. Um, there's not going to be room if you did an RSVP. Yeah. Looks like you'll be able to hear from Eric, the CEO at Mason General, also parts from PUD3, Mason Transit, mm -hmm. uh, Health, Transit, and Power is the luncheon for this Friday. Mm, yes. Very cool. Yeah, just call our office or send an email. And then the 13th next week, but still a good reminder, because mm -hmm. it'll be happening during the time that we're on the air together, so probably a skip. Oh. Right? Isn't it not? No. No, it's, it's on Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong date. Okay. Good on I'll, be <laughs> I'll be here. The legislative breakfast. Yes, and that um, we want to let people know that we need an RSVP for that one also. Okay. Attendance already is... Um, so high that we've we're moving it. We've moved it from the Colonial House to the Civic Center. Wow! So we have we do have room for additional attendees. And again, just give us a call or email so we can get you on that list. ChooseMason.com. The address is just up the road from us here, 310 West Coda, and 426-2276 is the number. I'm getting the music, so we're about out of here. Karen, Lynn, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to see you. Good.